Hello, it's Sarah. And this is going to be my updated craft room tour. And I am just sitting behind my desk. That is a quick overview. I'm going to get up. I know this is tricky, guys, because uh, I'm already shaking it everywhere. But I'm going to back up. And that's my desk. So basically, this is a living room. So let me back up a little further and I'll show you. So now I've just backed out of the room. There's French doors here and there's a door over there. And that was a living room. So look, here's my house, the back of it, and then there's a room back there. So this was a room, a living room that we never used. And I just said, I'm coming upstairs. So that is actually a fireplace, okay? So it's in the front of the house. I have four windows, which if you want a tip, <laughs> it's not ideal for a craft room. I love it because it is bright in here. From Well, today's rainy, so I have all the lights on. But I mean, not necessarily bright from sunshine, but because... Um, you can see outdoors. You don't feel like you're shut in here. It's not like, you know, closed off. But for a craft room, you would like at least one full wall to put storage, you know? All right, so let's go back. So this is my desk. So it kind of looks like an office. I wanted to keep it looking kind of, you know, so I kept the chair. That was a chair. I just wanted a chair in my craft room. Um, and... And I just have the desk, really. That's the main other piece of furniture in there. And I got that on Amazon. I, in my last video, I knew the name of it. I forget the name of it now. Um, yeah, can't think of that. Um, so, yeah, so I put it up against... This was actually, thinking about it, the way the room is designed, that's the one wall that I could have covered with cat, like shelving or something. So maybe I need to rethink this. Although I really like the way it is now, but that wall could be covered with like the big um, IKEA storage or something like that. So I don't know, but there's really not another good place to put my desk. I just, mm, I don't know. It's just, this is a tricky room. So I love it though. I'm very happy because I've been in the basement my whole crafting life. All right, so then um, basically what I wanted to share was how I've created storage in such a space. Um, I want to show you these little wire shelving units. And we, I could, because I said, we, I was in the basement before, so I just had it very utilitary. I didn't have anything cute, really. It was all, I had big black ones of them from um, Home Depot. And then I had the little white ones, and they're great because you can hang things on them. So you'll see, I get these big rings, and be, when I make, and like these are all my, um, what are they called? Eyelets or something? Yeah, eyelets. So anything, anything at all, and I, I use these little S hooks. Can you see that? So they're great for that type of storage too. So you can always have that option when you have them. Um, <laughs> All right, then that is just basically a, a, I think it's like a bathroom towel rack thing that my sister-in-law gave us, and I painted it white, and I just really liked it because it had, again, the bar, and I put all these S-hooks on it, and then I could hang my, what are these, quirks, my quirk ornaments, just anything that hangs, you know, really use these um, b binding rings, and the S hooks, and you can get these S hooks at um, your Home Depot or home store. And then that's just where I put all my Tim Holtz stuff. Anything that I've made that's Tim Holtz. So see, my craft room, huh, my whole house, is kind of like a display for everything I make. So I mean, if you look around, pretty much there's just stuff I've made everywhere. Like hanging on the doorknobs. Like it's just out of control. So... Um, but yeah, but I do like those wire stackable things. And then I always love to get these big bins. 
this type of bin is great or those types of bins, more of like the um, the shoe box bins. They're awesome and you can just stack them. These my cousin Fran gave me, these are good too and you can get these at the dollar store a lot of times and they're stackable and I do, I love these because they don't have lids and you can alternate whatever you're using at the time. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of them too. Um, all right, and that's just my paint spinner. So I'm gonna try and go around this way. So here we have another one of those because this room, it just didn't have, like, see, that's even taller than the window. So it's a very awkward room to try and do storage in. And so, um, yeah, I did it again with that. And then these are, um, these are kind of like in the hardware store, these little things that, you know, and I keep little bits and bobs. This one's not as full. This one down here is more full. Wire and anything like that, little eye hooks, eye screws, um, stuff like that. And then anything, I, this is just randomness. Yeah, baskets. I just use baskets for storage all the time. But see, there's another one of those bins I love. Um, again, hanging. See, I even hang bags, whatever. Um, dominoes. I hang a lot of stuff off of these things. All right, so then I'm going to back up a little. I, I'm pretty sure they're by Closet Made, this specific uh, cubby unit. Um, and I got it at, I think I got these. You know why? It's because I don't remember. Hold on. I know they got have them at Target. They have them everywhere, pretty much. But I think I got these specifically at, I'm picturing, I think it was Home Depot because they had this burgundy color basket. These are just collapsible baskets that you can get. So I got, I left some open and some closed, but I knew that my room had burgundy curtains, so I wanted to see if they, and I mean, in some light, they look redder than burgundy, but they're pretty close to burgundy. They're the closest to burgundy that I could find. So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> that's the reason I got them. And I went with white because white's bright and yeah, because they have wood tone. They have all different stuff, but I like the white. Um, and then look what I did over here. That's a fireplace. I'm going to sit down. Maybe I can hold this. Um, but yeah, that is a fireplace. I told the hubby, I said, look, I need more space. So, so I didn't have that, right? And you know, I mean, my stuff just grows. It grows and grows. And I'm going to show you what I have all over the place too. But that's a 12 cubby bin thing. And I love these. I'm going to go in the shot. These are, um... These are at Michael's. You get these at Michael's, and I've got a bunch of them, again, with burgundy, right? Here's some down here. They had the um, British flag, too, which I loved. Those are actually, the ones in there have flowers, and, I mean, I've just gotten cute ones that I liked, but for the most part, I tried, you know, you try and, I do, if everything's all the same color, at least, it won't look as cluttered. So that's just a little trick. But you're going to get clutter no matter what you do. It's just the nature of the beast. We buy too much stuff. <laughs> um, so I have a 12, but that's a fireplace back there. Um, and we never used it. it. It's a fire, I mean, a wood burning one. And we just, it's a, I don't know. At first I thought, oh, it would be so cozy to have a crackling fire you know, while I'm crafting, but yeah, no, um, I needed more room <laughs> for stuff. So under, I mean, over there I have like a, um, a ribbon holder thing that's just on the windowsill. These windows have kind of thick sills, so I put stuff on the windowsills too. I have, there's just stuff crammed everywhere. Baskets again, I think that just has, um, like packing supplies for when I ship things out. That's all my beading supplies, everything for beading and type stuff like that. And my Origami Owl is kind of coming in now. I have Origami Owl stuff, so that bin right there, the middle bin, is all my Origami Owl stuff. So 
and there's stuff right there in that yellow box. I got it. It's just out of control. Like I'm, I'm just, it never ends. Um, so, but then these again, these are the nice big, and I love these things. They are, they're perfect. So I'm going to turn this light on. Sorry. So I'll close those doors and I'll just sit on the chair and I'll show you. So this is this side. So there's two nice size walls. And then I put those big 12, 12 cubby um, things there. And I put a lamp on each one. So it kind of looked really neat when I first got up here before I just, you know, I keep bringing stuff up. Um, but yeah, I love them. So again, with the burgundy, see how it just looks kind of neater, right? And then on the wall, well, you saw the wall a little bit. It's kind of my wall of stuff, all the classes and things I've made. So that's it. Oh, and then one more thing. These are the um, stackables, I guess you'd call them, from Michaels. And I needed somewhere to put scrapbook paper. So I have another one down in the basement that is... Um, it's a drawer thing, pulley outy thing, but it just couldn't fit in here, and that's plenty. Like, I don't use scrapbook paper all the time, so that was enough room for me to hold. And then the drawers hold ribbon and all types of stuff, but if you look, I just put it at the end of my desk, so it's kind of cool because it actually extended the surface of my desk, right? Because I put my spinner on top of it, so I have my spinner and my, like, my my little whatever doodah holder pens so it, it really extended the surface of my desk because my desk you know and I mean it's a pretty nice size desk but if I had all this stuff on it which you need I mean it's kind of nice to have anyway you don't need it but it is good for um, your go-to stuff and this I would say I, I think a lot of you guys have these organize it and really put the things that you use in here and it's a wonderful thing I at first I was just using it for random stuff I really didn't use just to hold things and that was a mistake so I took everything out and really put things that I use in here and now it's there's still stuff I don't use don't get me wrong <laughs> um what else so I wanted to tell okay so now I'm just going to start I'm going to come over here Turn around and look at all the stuff I've made that just is in here collecting dust. But I love it and it's hard for me to let it go. So, chunky charms. Well, a fan because it gets hot. Stained glass and just like these little, I love these so much. I'm in the shot. I don't even know what it is or why it is, but it is, and I love it so much. So I buy these little display hanger things, and there it is, and it hangs in my space. Um, I have stained glass on all the windows, so that's a good reason to have windows in here. Um, this is my class, my Kate Crane class. I took um, journal soup. I think I took one and two. So that's just displayed there, blocking the ugly thing there. Um, stick pins. Had to have my stick pins in here, you know. Uh, this lamp actually, I could probably turn it off, but is milk glass that ha my husband and I kind of fixed up. I think I got it for about 15 bucks at a, cr a thrift store. And we painted the metal and he rewired it for me, so I love that. Um, clay this is my gecko you've seen all this stuff but this is just not storage it's just displaying all the stuff I make so like look there's a domino book I haven't made domino books in forever but they're super fun um oops stand back up uh, mirror like just everything okay fairy house painted it painted it stained glass painted that box and this just holds like um I know, trust me, I know that it's here. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to get out of the shot. I'm trying to... But this is like all my twine. Sorry. And she's just an angel that I bought at a craft show or something. She's fallen in the box. There we go. I collect angels. I just love angels. So more stained glass. Um, like I said, my ribbon stuff. But look at this. So, And that's my chair. Here's my Tim Holtz pillow that Kirby messed up. And look at this though, see? Let's just go down it. 
that's a mosaic birdhouse, stained glass, altered things, polymer clay, altered polymer clay. There's Maya, painted it. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Look, even a piece of wire that I bent to make a word. And so I can't, I just, I can't get rid of this stuff. I just love it all. Like, look, here's my mantle. Like, I could be putting, I don't know, but I just display everything. So those are topiaries. I was addicted to topiaries for a minute. They're by Rosemary West, a painter. Here's my art artist trading blocks. Art dolls. Uncle Bill made that Uncle Sam. He carved it and I painted it. There's my art dolls. I love them. Oh, look, there's my pumpkins. My little jack o Ooh, there's ATCs in here. So that's filled with ATCs. <sighs> I love it, though. I do. Then I have art dolls up there. This picture is the one thing that I haven't painted in here or made because that I got that at, like, um, Home Goods or something back when this room was just a room for, you know, living in. And that's my Create banner. I love it. I love it. Like, see, that's a thing. I mean, if I didn't love it, it wouldn't be in here. Um, like I said, this has kind of become my origami owl section. But what's over here? Oh, there's stuff we made. Oh, Joe made this cow. This is Joe's cow. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love Joe's signature. Look at this. Can, let me see if I can get in on this. It's J-E. Anyway. So, but yeah, it's just stuff that I've made, like this I made, and it's just filled with crocheted stuff I made, and I painted that, and oh boy. So look, here's my houses. I loved these. These were so fun to make. I loved them. So that's the thing. I don't, I really got a lot of enjoyment out of it, and like, I think, I think I keep like stuff in there, see? But this was a painted project. I should put a magnet on that. Um, polymer clay, polymer clay, polymer clay, painted it, and then even over here, this is a cute little section, um, this is right behind my desk, but this is my artist, my artist art doll, this actually little polymer clay guy I bought at a craft show, he's my little painter bear, I like him, so that's my two little artists sitting there, um, artist trading block, look at this guy, Woo! I altered this bike. It's a, I think it's like a plant holder or something. And all my stick pins is in there. So, I don't know. I just liked it. Um, I actually did do that. What is that called? Um, cross stitch is coming to mind. Is that what it's called? Cross stitch? I think it might be called cross stitch. Oops. Sorry. Um, that's just me and Joe. And look, these little artist trading blocks. So cute. They're dusty. Um, and painted her. So, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, even on top of my desk. I mean, it just doesn't end. Like I keep, I've made so many things that it's just, I can't let go of them. And so my room, like even here, this is storage. I definitely like, there's a lot of my go-to ribbon, but like, I can't stop storing stuff because I have so much to store. <laughs> that was a gift. All right. So that's it. And that's my desk. Um, so I just think, listen, oh, but see here, this is one thing I want to tell you. I want to go to Ikea. Look, let's see if you can tell. Oh, you can tell. It's starting to list, right? Isn't that what you say? Let me move my chair. Look, look at it. I love that. It was in my basement, but I guess I'm putting too much stuff in it. And I, I needed drawers. So I think I know that Ikea has, um, a wooden version of that with drawers so I'm gonna get it these are also wonderful to have um, these little bins fit perfectly in these cubbies by the way in my cubbies these are not 12 by 12 they're not the Ikea size they're smaller but these bins and I keep a lot of stuff back here in those um, they're very great for your go-to stuff but that look it's, a, it's gonna topple over it's the leaning tower of craft supplies. So yeah, um, I have to get to Ikea. It's not close to us, and I'm going away this weekend. So I think when I come home, I'll definitely do that. So that's it, guys. I love it. It's a great space. 
But like I said, if you have your choice, your option, um, go for a room. A bedroom would probably be better. And I have, I do have a spare bedroom, my son's bedroom. Um, but I like being downstairs too. Like it's definitely, there's a plus to being with an air shot of everybody and I don't have to, you know, go up and down the stairs. Uh, and I don't feel like I'm tucked away. I feel like I'm kind of in, in the house when I'm, when I'm in here. So, all right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.